have spoken at length about the fraud committed, the massive fraud that has been committed in this country. It's about 100 times more than the central bank scam, I have said. I have proved it with details and statistics in this house. Having said all that, now we find the Controller General of Immigration is deliberately sabotaging, uh, despite an interim order by the Supreme Court, the, uh, and, and preventing smooth travel arrangements for tourists to come into this country, which is a, which is a ex foreign exchange earning sector. We are going to lose all these earnings if we continue in this disastrous fashion, ignoring all court orders. Extreme fraud this government is committing and continuing to commit and defying court orders. This is a shame. But now what has happened today? Now see the Daily Mirror's headlines today. SL immigration handicapped on in on arrival visa processing. Now here in this news, this is a headline Daily Mirror today. What is happening? Several attempts made to contact the Controller General of Immigration Immigration were unsuccessful. Currently the department's official website displays a notice about the suspension of the visa issuance system effective August 2nd, 17, 17 hours Sri Lankan standard time. Now this is very unfortunate, the, the report that contains here. I would like to table for the consideration of the press and, the, and this parliament a letter sent by uh, stakeholders in the tourism sector. Sri Lanka Association of Inbound Tour Operators, Hotel Association of Sri Lanka, Association of Small and Medium Enterprises Tourism, Sri Lanka Association of Professional Conference, Exhibition and Event Organizers, Sri Lanka Tourism Alliance, Ceylon Hotel School Graduates Association, all of whom have written to the immigration, the commission, the controller of, controller general of immigration and immigration. Very harsh letter accusing him of sabotaging the arrival visas being handled in the airport despite the way in which they, the Supreme Court has ordered him to immediately revert to the earlier system because there was fraud that was exposed in the applications we filed to the Supreme Court. Now I would like to read here very specifically what, what this letter says. For the purpose of facilitating the immediate restoration of the status quo ante, you would have to facilitate the Mobitel ETA platform. It is common knowledge and accordingly we too are are made to understand that Mobitel Limited stands ready and willing to immediately go live and to provide services as, an, as in the past through a very smooth transition. Nevertheless, we understand that the back-end software provider who provides the gateway informatics must await or is waiting expeditious instructions from you in your capacity as a controller of immigration and immigration in order to facilitate the connectivity and activation of the Mobitel platform. So deliberately, however, we understand to our great concern that you have most conspicuously failed to provide the relevant instructions, thereby precluding, because of your own deliberate action and inaction, the due implementation of the considered and formal interim order granted by the Supreme Court, which is the apex court of the country. In view of this very serious failure on your part, the irresistible inference that arises regarding which we will be compelled to complain to the Supreme Court against you is that you are deliberately contrived to frustrate, undermine, and be, and be contemptuous of the sanctity of the clear order, interim order of the Honorable Supreme Court. You, sir, as a public officer, as defined in Article 170 of the Constitution, are strictly enjoined by that very Constitution and the doctrines of the rule of law and public trust under the principles of equal protection of the law. To honorably abide by an order of the apex court, and that too, especially when you were represented by counsel and you were heard and the adverse decision taken against you by the Supreme Court was after consideration of all arguments adduced by all counsel in the case. The tourism industry is receiving multiple complaints from foreign travelers and tour operators who prefer to receive efficient online visa authorization rather than receiving the visa upon arrival, which is the only option presently available in the country. The undue delay directly occasioned by you as well as certain other respondents is resulting in tourism bookings being directed to other destinations to the severe detriment of Sri Lanka and and the destruction of Sri Lanka's legitimate need to solicit as many tourists as possible and to augment its foreign reserves. What more, Mr. Deputy Speaker? The tourism minister also has been now uh, thrown out of parliament with today's judgment. That is the, that is the uh, final uh, impact of all, what, all the wrong things they have done. Please be advised that we will have no qualms should you fail to act on this letter and duly comply with the interim order of the Supreme Court to respond of to report to you report 
you to the Supreme Court for an appropriate order of court of court to be made against you in addition to whatever other contempt proceedings that we may decide to institute against you. These, all the stakeholders in the tourism sector has copied this letter to Mr. Parin, the Ranasinghe, President's Council, Honorary Attorney General, and the Chairman of SLT Mobitel Private Limited. It's a simple thing to migrate to the earlier platform provided by SLT Mobitel. I have shown, I have spoken at length about the fraud committed, the massive fraud that has been committed in this country. It's about 100 times more than the central bank scam, I have said. I have proved it with details and statistics in this House. Having said all that, now we find the Controller General of Immigration is deliberately sabotaging uh, despite an interim order by the Supreme Court the, and, and preventing smooth travel arrangements for tourists to come into this country, which is a, which is a ex foreign exchange earning sector. We are going to lose all these earnings if we continue in this disastrous fashion, ignoring all court orders and the entire tourism industry is up in arms and this is exactly what this government is doing at this time. This is very unfortunate. The late Ronald D. Mel must be turning in his grave, looking at the type of, type of extreme fraud this government is committing and continuing to commit and defying court orders. This is a shame, Mr. Deputy Speaker. If I implore you that through you that this control of immigration, immigration, I have read the letter by the stakeholders that he must, without delay, revert back to the earlier system and facilitate smooth travel arrangements for all tourists coming into the country. Thank you.